were readings and salutations cast on here, also known as Tarion. We're doing another tutorial. This is about skeleton conversions, converting between skeletons. So I'm converting between a grumpy old man skeleton, which is what you see here, and I'm going to be converting it to a toolbox um, skeleton. And there are some differences. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you off, and this is a old model of what the Azarza here uh, raiders would have looked like until I made them into Azarza here borders, and fortunately the buckler is going to go to waste, but not the f Master Falchion thing. It's going to be used for the officers for the Azarza here, and yeah, the differences are in the skeleton's naming system which I will show with the uh, Dol Amroth unit. This is a toolbox skeleton. As you can tell, it doesn't have the skeleton following the actual anatomy of the body. It's a little sphere. And this is the differences. You have all this stuff for weapons, and it's all lowercase instead of capital, like in the Grumpy Old Man's. And there's only three at the bottom. So all you have to do, really, is delete the last three and change the uppercase to a lowercase and you do this to all of the GOM uh, skeleton bone names so you just lowercase any capitals and you just do that for every single one by the time you actually finish uh, all this uh, you should have an idea of where you're gonna put it and you're gonna then want to have a model pre uh, converted with toolbox so when you open toolbox you will use that as your base uh, model for your skeleton com merging so use your toolbox model and you're gonna then take your GOM and merge over it under whatever um, and then you're gonna open that delete what you don't want from the other model so you delete everything except the skeleton of it and unfortunately this model uh, that I went through the process of showing you doesn't have comments so I can't actually you know port it into the game so you guys can uh, look at it in action however I do have a model uh, that I've done this already but it's with bowstrings and that is uh, one of the Abrunar Zim uh, units and this is a really good method for bowstrings, uh, units, um, say uh, goblins, dwarves, hobbits. Of course, um, you're not going to do it with horses or uh, mounts because you would do it with toolbox to begin with. And uh, there's also the fact that this whole method is just good f uh, for units that you're gonna rig in grumpy old man that are you know humanoid and you're gonna keep in humanoid form or that isn't gonna have any special uh, skeletons and anim animations uh, so that's what you want to use this uh, and that's what this is more for, uh, for humanoids that are gonna need special animations. So like bowstrings, I rigged it all, the major body parts, along with the bow, which had a flat uh, rigging weight. And then when I went into, converted to a toolbox with a bowstring animation, uh, I just rigged the bow according uh, with the uh, bowstring animation so then you can get a beautiful bend like in this footage here 
Um, you can do this with dwarves, so you can rig it up in GOM, convert it to a toolbox dwarf skeleton that you got from a dwarven unit, or with goblins, that sort of stuff. Um, uh, it, I did this, uh, originally made this process for the new Sauron that we have in uh, some Rillian because we managed to fix that whole skeleton issue and I had rigged the model in GOM and I was looking through some tutorials trying to figure out where I've seen something that could probably work and it was Castolian's um, strat map uh, well battle map to strat map conversion and that's what this is all based off of. So if you've done that, you've pre you can do this. Uh, it's not that difficult. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys some other stuff later on. Probably some texturing modeling. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that will be. Probably next week. I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.